hello guys welcome to solving solutions here on the balance channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um today's video is going to be very very interesting i don't know why i keep saying that because um, all our videos are actually interesting all right um today we are going to show you how to bring in an excel file to qgis you know most times the data we work with maybe from your data logger or any instrument you use maybe after you downloaded it and then you want to work directly with it on um, any gis package it can appear like this sometimes you can have it as um, latitude longitude and the height and the description other times you can have it as eastern northern height and description but um any how the data is presented to you on today's video we are going to show you how you are going to export it towards to qgis now the advantage or let's say one of the uses or let's say why you would want to export it to qgis might really be that you want to have it as a ship file or you directly want to use it um, maybe for um, any form of um, special um, analysis on um, QGIS. So that's what we are going to show you on this video. So thanks for coming to class today. We are saying this thing in the beginning now. Thanks for coming to class today. Please um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel. And always turn on your notifications so that you can be the first person to see our videos. All right, now let's go to the business of the day. So as we said earlier, let's say you have your data like this. We have just 10 points here. Yours might be 500, 1,000, 200, 50, 100 as the case may be. It might even be three or maybe four or maybe 10 or as much as the number is. So when you have formatted it on Excel this way, you have your points, your eastern, northern and height, or maybe your points, your latitude, longitude and elevation or altitude and description. But I believe the most important thing on this point, uh, on this um, on this particular file, are uh, the um, the eastern and northern, or maybe the latitude and the longitude. The description is just to tell you that okay, when you want to label it, you know that okay, this point represents this, and this other point will represent that. So now the first thing is what you are going to save this file as a what as a CSV file on Excel. So you come to your file and you know how to save a file as so. We always work with um, a folder, so um, we are going to save this on a folder. We are calling it um, Excel to Excel to um, QGIS. So the file type will be what CSV, as we said earlier. So CSV, and then let's call it um, Point Data. Good. So Point Data dot what CSV. Now we have saved it as what as CSV. Now the next thing is what we now come to QGIS good so this is the qgis workspace i know you can see this um, google satellite on our layer panel here, but um, we'll show you how to do that and you can also check out one of my very good friend geomatics hub he's doing a very good job on his channel you can also check out his channel and then you get a few things from his channel now the next thing when you're on qgis the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to bring in that um, csv so that csv file so you come to layer add layer and then you go to what add the limited text layer so you click on it then you get to this particular interface so you just navigate or you browse these um, three dots towards the um, extreme right you click on it and it will allow you what good it will allow you to go to wherever your file is and we are working with what this point data so we just open it that has been saved as a csv file so we do what we open it now the next thing is that automatically the file type has been changed to what csv because it's actually what a csv file we imported so that is checked now the next thing is what the record and field option i think everything is checked here so the next thing is this um, point um geometry definition if perhaps when you start you find your own under no geometry try and bring it to what to point coordinates because the points the points or the file we brought in are what are actually point coordinates and another thing to note is what the fields you know your x is always your eastern on the cartesian and then your y is what your northern on the cartesian so let's say per adventure you came in with maybe you imported your what your latitude and your, your longitude you know how it will also be your latitude is what your northern or your y 
and then your longitude is what your easting or your x so depending on which data format you're bringing in or which endpoint coordinate type you're bringing in you just know that what the x field represents what your easting and it also represents what your longitude whereas the y field represents your northern and it also represents what your latitude so you can see a sample of the data we have imported is how the data is so i think everything is set now your uh, geometry crs we are working on wgs84 utm zone text to be very it's actually what a projected coordinate system we are using so i think we don't need to make any other correction here so if you're not using a projected coordinate system you don't need this other part of it you just stop at them um, wgs84 depending on whatever you're using and then if you're still using a projected coordinate system you know your utm zone good so everything every other thing is checked so we just do what we add upon adding we do what we close now the it has been added to our what our layer so if you can't find it you can just um, zoom to layer to see so these are the points these are the points just like importing points to autocad or maybe any other software so these are the points now for you to see them you can just come to what your attribute table open attribute table you would find them on what you find them on your attribute table so these are the points they are easting northern and the description now the next thing we are going to show you as i said earlier perhaps as you've imported it now it is not like um, a geographic file now so what do you do the essence of bringing in this um, satellite image or google satellite is for us to be able to see if the points are actually falling where we pick them so these actually maybe yeah you can confirm that yes with this um, Google satellite image, the, the points are actually falling where we pick them. We are going to make a video on how to show you, or we are going to make a video on how to, yeah, show you how to do this particular task of bringing in this um, Google satellite image as um, a plugin on um, on QGIS. But you can also check them out um, on um, Geomatics Up because I think they also have a video there. My very good friend, I must keep saying that. So you can also check out the channel. Now, for us to continue, we said earlier, since the points are falling within where we pick them, that is checked. So we can decide to just close it. So, you know, this is not a shape file yet. So the point of the, the, the file was just imported to QGIS. Now, the next thing is maybe if you want to give it to someone to work with that, say, yes, our shape file. The next thing you are going to do is what? You are going to save it as a what? As a shape file. So you just click on this and then you come to what export and you go to what export features as just click on it then it will take us to this particular save and vector layer as now if it is not the format is not on shape file perhaps when you come in it's on maybe um where is that um, other file extension her <laughs> kill uh, markup language maybe on KML. what we need is what esr shape file so you just select that then the file name, you click on this other three dots towards the extreme right. Then you navigate to the folder you want to work on. We are still working on what? Um, Excel to GIS. So let's just call this um, SHP of the points. Um, SHP underscore point. Uh, SHP underscore point. So that's the shape file of the point we have what we have imported. Now the next thing is the CRS. We are still working on M32. So I think every other thing is checked here. And we see what we see. Okay. So this is the progress and successful. So it has already been what added as what it has been added on our layer as another word. It has been added on the layer panel as another layer, and you can see it on the map canvas here. Now, if you want to be sure if this thing has actually been saved, because you know, if you want to send it to your friend, if you want to share it with anyone, you cannot really share this other, the first one we brought in, then the point data. What you can easily share is what this um, SHP underscore PNT, which is the what, which is the shape file. So you just go to the folder you are working on. Good. This is the folder we are working on, and you can see all the different components of that shape file that we have created. So with this now, if you send to someone else, the person can be able to work with it and you know do any other thing with it, and you know the person can perform any form of um, geospatial analysis and uh, 
get back to you or maybe you can also do any other thing you want to do so on this video we've been able to show you how to bring in an excel file to what to qgis and how to also save it as what a ship file now at this point you can perform any form of um, annotations and maybe if you still want to do some um, modifications you can still do whatever you want to do now we can go to properties and confirm good you can now see that it has been stored as what a ship file so at this point we can decide to come to um labels and then maybe decide to label it the way we want and single labels and you know any other thing you want to do with this particular um, this particular file you have imported you want to label it as uh, with the description so let's see how it goes and then we say apply and we say okay so you can now see the essence of um, also bringing in that other column of what the description because this will now enable you to know what each of the points what represent so i think that's enough for today's video Thanks for coming to class. Um, we used to say if you have um, problems related to this, you can always contact us and then we'll get back to you. Um, our fees are not really much and they are not really high. We can always um, provide that um, surveying and then um, special solutions to you at a very, very affordable rate. Thanks for coming to class. Please, if you've not subscribed to the channel, help us by subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to support us links to supporting us will be on the description section of this video and also on the channel description so until we see you on the next video keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time bye